welcome you all in this lecture we are going to discuss about the effect of surcharge on effective stress uh, see here you see the surcharge means the load that is placed above the ground surface which actually which actually produce equal stress within the ground so here you see uh, surcharge will create uh, equal stress right from if you want to designate surcharge with q small q let us see now this surcharge imposes uh, equal stress right from top to bottom within the ground surface uh, within uh, right from the ground surface to any depth below the ground any depth below the ground that we are going to discuss now as you place such as such as is a uniformly distributed load as if you place a such as a typical example for such as is a road if you construct road on the surface of the ground it imposes equal stress within the ground so this is a very important discussion let us have a discussion now so here you see i have a ground here this is the level of the ground so now one can see this is the uh, uh, soil layer its thickness is h1 and i have another th layer which thickness is h2 but the thing here is now we have a water table so here you see as the water table is there what is going to be happen uh, right now we will discuss about how to calculate total stress from first layer gamma 1 into h1 then it is going to be constant now let us uh, think about the second layer now it is gamma 2 into h2 so in fact this is a water table is there so better to put now saturated so now i am writing gamma 2 saturated into h2 this is about total stress now you see we have such as the discussion now is about such as so once such as is there we have to take care now about the influence of such as on total stress it is actually you see such as i am trying to draw here whatever the value of such as so let me assume if it is uh, 10 kilopascal i will write here at the top 10 10 kilopascal at ground surface the same will continues and this is also 10 kilopascal now you see what i am trying to say uh, the such as will impose uh, stress uh, equal stress right from top to bottom that is what this uh, rectangle is resembling so such as impose a total stress below the ground surface which is equal right from ground surface to any depth below the ground surface that's why we are drawing a rectangle here so why it is a rectangle uh, it is very good to understand because the influence of such as creates equal uh, what increase in vertical stress right from top to bottom so here you see this rectangle resembles the increase in uh, total stress uh, is q uh, let me say it is 10 kilopascal as we already assumed now it is this is also 10 kilopascal so that's why we are drawing a rectangle here one can see this is the total stress distribution diagram now you see what about poor water pressure distribution diagram here you see no water table in the first layer so it is zero here it is zero when it comes to bottom we have h2 thickness here this is the thickness of the second layer now gamma of water into height of water now it is height of water is h2 now let me calculate now sigma dash how to calculate sigma dash sigma dash is equal to sigma minus u but here you see we have zero here at top but this time it is not zero uh, here you see we have total stress at the ground surface is equal to q now so don't write zero if you write zero uh, if, if there is no such as now the discussion is there is an increase in effective stress due to such as that's why now I am writing 10 here because my such as value is 10. So I am going to draw 
a rectangle just now what we have drawn in case of total stress so now this is the rectangle now let me draw once again here this is the rectangle so this rectangle having uh, intensity of stress uh, 10 kilopascal at top and even at bottom also 10 so the remaining problem what we discussed in the previous video uh, this has been discussed already now here you see gamma 1 into h1 then it is going to be constant and now we are calculating effective stress now we have to calculate the second layer effective stress now here you see uh, gamma sac h2 uh, this is regarding total stress minus minus pore water pressure gamma w into h2 so now the thing is uh, h2 is common we can get now gamma da, gamma prime now gamma prime h2 so this is the way we use it to uh, quantify the influence of uh, such charge at the end it is good to discuss an important note important note uh, the such charge will increase effective stress so such charge will increase effective stress so it actually uh, increases effective stress uh, uh, in, in a constant way so here you see the same such as whatever you say 10 kilopascal you can see here at the bottom also 10 kilopascal so such charge will increase effective stress right from top to bottom so that is very important here then there is an equal increase in effective stress and not only effective stress total stress when you impose effect uh, when you impose such as on ground surface this is the ground level on ground surface so let us see now this is a numerical example here you see we have a ground actually uh, without such charge that means i have not placed any fill here so so without such as uh, what happened now you see we have a two layers here h1 and another layer h2 so now the thing is here you see water table is at ground level here you see one can see now water table is at ground level now the, we have saturated unit weights for silty clay and gravel this is gamma 1 sat this is gamma 2 sat now how to calculate total stress we all know how to calculate total stress uh, everyone knows that uh, we can calculate now here you see it is gamma sat first layer into h1 so i can tell you now here you see this is gamma set one uh, that is 18 into 3 that is the reason why you are getting 54 now this 54 is getting constant 54 now plus plus gamma set 2 this is second layer now we are this is a gravel gamma set 2 into h2 let me write now into h2 so now uh, I'm getting 54 plus this is due to our burden from the first layer. Now gamma set 2, I can get it here. You see it is 20. Fortunately, gammas are given 20 into H2 is with me. It is 2 meters. So that is the story why we are getting 54 plus 40, 94. So one can easily understand why we are drawing this triangle, whereas here you see a total stress at top is zero because no surcharge is there. If surcharge is there, we have to write Q. We have to write Q, which is equal right from top to bottom. Okay, small Q. This is the influence of surcharge. Now, pore water, here you see water table is there. Gamma of water into height of water. Here I can write 9.81 into, into 3. That is the story of 29.43. Now somebody wants to know here this it is going to be constant so 29.43 now plus gamma of water into two so gamma of water into two that means 9.81 into two now if you sum up 29.43 plus uh this 18 point you will get 49.66 now to calculate sigma dash now sigma dash is very easy to calculate now sigma dash is equal to sigma minus u 
So one can see now, here you see 0 minus 0 is 0. Now uh, we, 54 minus 29.43, actually this 54 is total stress, 29.43 uh, is 4.4, uh, pore pressure. Now I'm getting effective stress. In, in the similar lines, uh, I can tell you this is 94 total stress at the bottom of the uh, second layer. So now uh, pore water pressure at the bottom of the second layer, which is sum of first to plus second, 29.43 plus 2 into 9.81. So that gives 49.65. Now 94 minus 49.65. It is obviously 44.94. So this is the story of how to calculate effective stress when water table is at ground surface. Now you see this question, what this question is saying. So this is a reclamation site. That means we are going to fill an artificial soil artificial soil so that means you see we are putting a preload on the soil that is the second portion of the power so somebody filled the ground uh, whatever the ground we have discussed now it has two layers so somebody filled the ground uh, surface that means above the ground level we have a filling now so this filling actually it is such as let me tell you this is such as how the surcharge is influencing now. See, the, once you put the surcharge, so what is going to be happen? Here you see 22 into 2.5. Uh, 22 into 2.5 is 55. So the value of Q is gamma fill into height of fill. Here you see gamma fill is known. It is given 22 kilonewton per meter cube. So height of the fill, how much depth it is filled above the ground level? It is 2.5. Now, total answer is now gamma fill and height of fill which gives 55 kilopascal. So what I'm trying to tell you, this 55 kilopascal is the sacha which is going to increase the uh, total stress right from top to bottom. Uh, that is 55. Here you see, this is going to be constant. This is a sacha influence of sacha at ground surface. The same will continue here. Here you see, this is the influence of such as Q. The rest of the problem, what we discussed uh, in the previous section. Now you see uh, what is going to be happen now. So this surcharge, this is the influence of surcharge, which gives an equal increase uh, right from top to bottom. So this is about 55 kilopascal, as we discussed surcharge, the same will continue. 55 plus whatever we discussed here, you see at the bottom, 44.95 so 54 plus uh, this is due to such as as i told you this is q such as which is equal to 55 plus i will tell you now here you see what you got here 44.95 i'm telling effective stress now now here you see 44.95 so that is the story of 99.95 so finally before I, I wrap up this class, so let me tell you, the sutures will, uh, uh, sutures will uh, increase the vertical stress as well as effective stress also. So uh, increase in due effective stress due to sutures is uh, equal, constant, right from top to bottom. Thank you all.